This is the future. Future. Well, hi guys, welcome back to uh, episode 3 of Minecraft. And just to show you guys what I've done in the time that you were away, I chopped up this part of the mountain that was on the inside of the walls um, to give uh, me some space to move and uh, to free the walls up a bit. Uh, giving it that castle look. So this is one of the things that I've done in the time that you were uh, not seeing. <laughs> then, these steps were already built, yes. And look at that! I've chopped away that whole section of mountain there. Uh, like I told you guys, I'm not going to show you everything because it's kind of boring. And then, my son decided to make me a waterfall. So, to have the water feature look a bit more natural, if you can put it like that, and safe. I put up this wall with some windows in that you can check on the inside. And look how big our trees have gotten. The trees that we've planted. Uh, that one doesn't want to grow, so I think I'm going to take that one out. Uh, look how big our trees are. They've grown quite big. Moving on. As you guys remember, there's a whole cave system underneath my mound, uh, underneath my castle. So while I was busy digging out the whole section of mountain, we opened up the cave system and the boy says they want me to keep it open. So I built this bridge to cover the gap between the one side and the other side. And I let the waterfall move into the cave system. As you can see there, it's quite a very big waterfall system. And... Uh, I also put up this safety barrier because you know safety first and uh, the tree that didn't, didn't want to grow I planted one right there in the middle I thought it would be nice just to have a tree kind of covering up this whole uh, entrance way to the cave system so and I also think it looks kind of nice it looks kind of neat and then I also planted grass everywhere that was exposed like with the previous um, section and uh, yes this is basically what I've done. So in today's episode, we are going to start with the actual castle. We are going to be um, doing the waiting area and the throne room. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So let's start um, doing this. Um, what I am going to do first of all is just the general layout of the throne room and the waiting area. And then in the next episode, I will finish it up, you know, put in all the bells and whistles and so on. So I decided, oh, look at this. My son actually enchanted a pickaxe for me. I don't know how to enchant anything, but he did it for me. He told me it makes it go much quicker. So I wanted to make the area, the waiting area, about five by five. And um, this will be, down at, be the area where you enter the castle and um, you know uh, the guards will tell you to wait here before you can come in to see the king. So this is what this area is all about. And this is also when I realized that chopping away the big sections of the mountain was actually a mistake because it limited my space inside the castle that I wanted to use. But nevertheless, um, it turned out to be more than enough space uh, at the point where I'm with the castle now, uh, which you guys will see in a few episodes from now. Um, I was actually able to build quite a lot of rooms and so on within this castle, with, within our mountain castle. As you guys can see today, I'm cutting out a lot of the chopping, chopping, chopping because it was actually quite boring. So this will be then the waiting area. We're going to enter here. Uh, there will be two guard rooms here that I'm going to build and the guards will tell you to wait here. And then you will enter into the throne room. 
So just to get my uh, bearings and the starting spot for the throne room, um, I had to mark the, you know, count the blocks and then go. So the idea for the throne room, I actually wanted to make a massive hall. You know, like with the old movies like Game of Thrones and so on, where you have a big hall with the throne at the end and about 20 pillars on either side, you know? And unfortunately, the space inside was way too small. Here I'm outside. I didn't realize I didn't have all the space because I cut away most of the mountain. Maybe if I build the castle walls lastly, um, I could have had my hallway the way I wanted to. But nevertheless, I actually have quite a big throne room. And uh, you'll see it once I'm done. So, um... I'm basically just gonna skip this whole section now for you guys because now it's just a whole lot of chopping okay after a whole lot of chopping this is our throne room um, it's broader than it's longer I would have liked to have it more longer to the back but then I remembered I still have to put in my pillars so if I remember correctly that would be my next oh no wait I decided to put in lights. I wanted a nice brightly lit um, throne room so I thought of putting in these glowstones again every th three or fourth interval in the ceiling. Next up is building my throne. A king has to have a throne. And it has to be something spectacular. So, uh, well, using what I had, um, I had to build some kind of throne. And there we go. One big iron or stone throne with steppies that goes up so that, uh, you can kiss the feet of the king <laughs> if you're into something like that. And. Uh, have a place to grovel. Next step would be to put the pillars. Now, like I said, I would have had liked to have it longer so I can have maybe six or so pillars on each side, but I had to settle for four pillars, two on each side. So at this point, my son was really bugging me to build a dungeon, and I told him once I'm finished with the pillars, we'll go ahead and build a dungeon. So the idea for the dungeon was to make an entrance way on the right hand side so that you know if you get into my place or into my court and I do lay judgment on you if you go out the way you came in you are safe if you go to the right hand side of the throne room you're going to go to the dungeons so that will be in our next episode I'll show you guys how we uh, build the general layout for the dungeon so remember to subscribe to this channel if you like this video give me a thumbs up, ring the bell icon so you can get notified of the next video that's being uploaded and uh, in our next episode I will show you then how and where we did the general layout for the dungeons and uh, yes guys until next time whatever you do remember to keep it safe and until next time cheers.